Hello, and welcome to the Jump Cloud video tutorial series where we demonstrate how to perform various IT related tasks. Today, we'll be showing you how to fully encrypt your Linux machines. I'm Ben Garrison, technical champion here at Jump Cloud. Let's get started. So first, I just want to point out that we are using a virtual machine. Um, I've had to do a few things on the back end for demonstration purposes. So like, for instance, installing VMware tools. Uh, so I apologize for the resolution issues, um, but we all know how that goes when working with VMs. So to begin, we'll start with a fresh installation of Ubuntu 20.04. When using Lux, L-U-K-S, uh, you can really only encrypt the entire drive during the installation of the operating system. For an existing installation, you'll have to re-image the device to do a full disk encryption. Now, in subsequent videos, I will demonstrate how to encrypt an existing machine's home directory and swap space without requiring a complete reinstallation of the operating system. Now, in practice, however, it is recommended to use the Lux encryption process. So, we're just going to continue with installing a brand new installation of Ubuntu 20.04. Um, on this virtual machine and we're just going to do our normal installations as usual Once you get through the initial screens for your installation you will Get to a window that allows you to encrypt the drive um, First we're going to um, Click on we are going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu but this is where we are going to um, stray from the path of just clicking next, next, next. We're gonna click on the advanced features and we're gonna use the LVM and we're gonna encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security. Now we're going to click the install now. This screen allows us to create a secure security key that is used to unlock the disk. I'm just using a password that I can remember that is very easy. You can recreate create a recovery key that you can then look at later um, if you wish to use this to unlock the disk in case you were to forget this password. Um, I'm not going to check that box. I'm just going to use the password. So now we're going to install the operating system. The operating system can take a little bit of time to install, um, the, especially on a VM. <laughs> um, but once we get through the installation process, We'll be able to install the um, Jump Cloud agent um, to be able to look at the actual encryption status of the machine. So click continue and we're going to allow the operating system to install. We're going to pick our time zone, hit continue, and we're going to pick an this doesn't really matter. Now, picking a username with Linux um, in the jump, jump cloud jump cloud sense um, is uh, important. We're going to use um, just Ben Garrison, and we're just going to create a a password. Now, um, we'll talk about in other videos what the impact of this username field is and how uh, how we in jump cloud how it manages um system profiles but we'll talk about that in later videos so now we're just going to go ahead and allow the operating system to install um, and we will come right we'll fast forward through this part so you're not just sitting here um watching the status bars <laughs> we will uh, we'll fast forward here a little bit and allow this to to install after you have completed the installation of the operating system and you've done a system reboot, you'll be presented with the unlock disk screen. From here, we'll enter in the passphrase that we originally created within the installation window. And what this is going to do is going to unlock the disk so that we can get into the operating system and sign in with our user that we also created during the installation process. Very simple. Now we're signed into our virtual machine and pretty much everything is done at this point. But now we're gonna bridge the gap and we're gonna take this one step further and we'll wanna look to see how we can manage and ensure that our devices that are in our fleet are being encrypted and that we have the ability to report on this data. 
So to do this, we're going to use the Jump Cloud agent. And installing the agent on a Linux device is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is copy and paste a curl command into the terminal window and you're off to the races. There's a few other ways of deploying it remotely, but for the sake of this video, we're going to simply show a terminal command. So first we're gonna go into the admin panel and we're going to click on devices and we're gonna add a new device. You notice there's no Linux devices right now. We're going to grab the Linux and simply copy the curl command. Back into our virtual machine, we are going to grab our terminal, or I'm sorry, open our terminal, and we're going to paste that curl command in that session and simply hit enter. Um, oh, I'm sorry. First, we have to install uh, curl. So we'll install curl. We'll provide the our user password and we'll allow that to install. Okay, now that curl is installed, um, we're going to go ahead and paste in that curl command. What this is gonna do is, is essentially just download the agent. It is going to install the agent package. Uh, you notice here within our curl command, we do have a connect keys. The connect key is a, um, a, a simply a key that associates this agent to connect to the specific organization that we looked at previously. So the organization that we want this to um, be assigned to. Once that is installed, um, as you just saw that it was um, installed successfully, we're going to hop back into our Jump Cloud admin portal. And we're going to give this screen just a little refresh here. And what will happen is you'll notice that we now have an Ubuntu machine that shows that its status is currently online. So after you've installed the agent, you will see that in the devices, um, this will look green. We can then look into our device tab and we can actually see in here that the disk encrypted encryption status is currently on. If you, are, if you do have system insights, you'll see this information. Additionally, you'll be able to go under system information and look at the disk encryption table that will then show you the disk encryption status. So, thanks so much for watching this quick, quick video and tutorial. Um, if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, please comment below with suggestions on what you would like to see. Don't forget to join our Jump Cloud Slack Lounge as well to discuss other IT admins on how to solve various IT issues. Thanks again. Take care. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.